Hello everyone, welcome back to the Grey Garden. It's been a lot, little while since I've played this, and I miss it. I just feel so happy when I'm playing it. The the cute music and the adorable characters and the the green grass and the beautiful skies, it's a nice change of pace because in the real world outside right now, it is foggy, cold, and raining. It's pretty miserable. <laughs> so this is a nice change of pace. So I was a little bit stuck last time. I just left this castle, what is it, Blank Black Castle or something like that, and I wasn't quite sure what to do. I think I just found it though, I was just wandering around the castle and Froze just showed up. Not entirely sure why, I guess she was here the whole time or something, even though I'm pretty sure she was in my party. Or, I, I don't know, anyway. I think this will advance it. Yeah, here we go. Hmm? Froze, what's up? I was just thinking... About dumplings? Dumplings. <laughs> I don't think she's thinking about dumplings. Blue skies. The sky looks so nice. You're right about that. Should we go back to Dielos? Sure. I could go for dumplings. That explains that. That night. I was expecting a cutscene, but I have to actually do something. Hmm. Write in the diary? Sure. Why not? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is that for me closing it? Alrighty. I think that was for me closing it. That was some good pie today. Hmm. The stars are pretty. Well, I'm bored. Maybe I'll go to the gardens to look at the stars. But in secret, because Froze gets mad when I stay up late. Ooh, am I going to meet the bat? The demon bat from hell? So is there anything in here? My clothes. Mm-hmm. Clothes. And don't open it. Coffee. With lots of milk and sugar. Okay, garden should be over here to the left, I think. Let's see if I remember my way around this place. Mm-hmm. What's up here? Oh yeah, the grave. I don't think I've been to the grave, have I? I'm kind of curious now, actually. Hmm. Oh, it's not like a... It's not a graveyard, but it's actually a single grave. A grave. Wonder whose. You don't know who that's for? Hmm. It's such a big thing, I thought, like, everyone around the area would know what it is. Some local hero or something. Alright, let's see if we meet the bat. Oh. I 
think I need to know the song more to actually hum it properly. <laughs> I'm humming the wrong notes. Look at the stars. A flower. Kind of cold. Should have brought a jacket. Hmm. Is it? Aha! I knew it. What? Mr. Bat, you're on fire. Something tells me the flame bat nose is on fire. It's kind of its thing, you know? Huh? What? K kinda hot there. <laughs> that didn't sound good. Call. This late at night? Hello? Hey, do you have any idea how late... Froze! <laughs> what? What is it? Weird flaming bat attacking me! Ah, it burns! Hey, where are you? The garden. Uh, get away from me! Here's a fire. I just realized how ironic it is. So Yoz a fire is being attacked by a flame bat, and Froze is coming to the rescue. Huh. Things are about to get cold up in here. This isn't the right way. Do I go down or do I go up? Down? No, up. Here we go. <laughs> the same happy song plays. Doesn't matter whether I'm going for a stroll to take a look at the stars or saving my friend from death. It's a happy day. Or night. <laughs> Having to make the same walk twice really drives home just how long it is. Wow, is she... Is that blood all over the ground? That doesn't look good. Yosefire! F fro... Z Ugh. Stay with me. What in the world? What the heck is going on? Just what is Mr. Flamebat? And what of my dinner? Nobody cares about the last part. <laughs> well, 
To be fair, she cares about it. Hmm. <sighs> Is she missing one of her horns? What happened to one of her horns? Ah, good nap. Hmm? Oh, right. Froze fixed me up yesterday. Well, basically all better now. Go me. Aw, she looks so strange with one of her horns half missing. Today I ate, I ate apple pie at Dilo's again. It was tasty. I guess I've been getting a little fat, but who cares? As long as there's tasty food. Oh, froze. Morning. Yosef, how are you doing? Thanks. <laughs> Fine, as you can see. <laughs> Don't be so rash. I'm fine. But what was that about? Yesterday, I mean. That was a real surprise, getting attacked like that. Hmm? What's it? Oh, uh, well. Given you're recovering, I don't want to push you. Hmm? I'd like you to tell... <laughs> There's those names again. Ethua and Kakalb the details of the event. Huh? Why is that? I just feel there's a need to look into what that thing was. Oh, well. Yeah, never seen a bat like that before, for sure. Okay, still hurts a little, but I can walk just fine. I see. Then let's head for Blank Black Castle. Okie doke. Okay, that coffee is just there taunting me. Can I please have it? Ah, I want to drink it. Can I eat one of my 50 million apples? Uh, 77. No. Or can I? No, I can't. Actually, how much money do I have? 550 gold. Hmm. Could buy something. There's not really much of a reason to, though. Now I'll just save up. We'll save, though. There we go. Okay, so... Time to go talk to them. I know the way, thankfully. Up, up, and away. Bees. Cute little bee. Actually, not little. Cute, huge bees. Massive bees, actually. <laughs> okay, I think I know the way. Let's see if I can remember. I think I went left, and then I went up. Hmm, did I go up there, or did I go to the right? Okay, here we go. Staring blankly at each other, as usual. Well, hmm, not feeling good about this. I, I don't even know what that is. Natch? I don't think that's meant to be said like that. What is that? I don't know. We'll need to hear more from her to know for sure, but... 
Can't we just go ask in person instead of summoning her? But I wonder, is it an outsider's doing? Yeah, I'll bet it is. See? It's just like I said yesterday. Yeah, I guess we gotta do something, huh? They've arrived. Ah, here we are. I've brought Yosef. Yes, thanks. Long time no buy delivery. How insolent can you be? Cheerfulness is paramount. How are you, Yosefire? Super fine. <laughs> That's good. So then, Yosefar, I need to ask you something. Yes. Yesum. I was gonna say yes, ma'am, but then I realized it's just an M. Yesum. Also, I just noticed she's wearing her hat on one of her horns. The one that's been kind of lopped off. That is kind of adorable. What exactly was it that attacked you in the garden? A flaming bat. Flaming? Yeah, it was a bat with a red flame around it. Like... Mr. Bat, Fireball Edition. Or Fireball Version, rather. He scratched and bit me and spit fire and it really hurt. Was there... anything else? Huh? Um... Well, I was pretty focused on fleeing from the bat. But I think it was just that bat there. Hmm. Thanks. I'll heal what hasn't healed already. Whoa! How is it? Awesome. Doesn't hurt at all. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now take care. Gotcha. Let's see if I can talk to Wotus. It may be best to stay away from the garden for a while yet. Fair enough. I'm bored. Old man, let's play. Who are you calling old man? <laughs> Take care. Flame. Sounds like we'll need to check this out. Mm-hmm. Wotus. Understood. Got a bad feeling. Flame. I wonder what this is all about. Who knows? Not me. But I hope it's nothing too bad. Well, I got healed up, so it don't matter to me. Alright, so what's it today? Where are we having fun? I'm going home. I have things to do. What? Come on, play. Later. Aww. But I want to play. <sighs> Jeez. Guess I'll go home and write about how lame you are, Froze. I'll write some prose about Froze, about how lame she is. It's a warp slate. It goes to Grey Village. Will you warp? 
Has this been here the entire time? I don't remember seeing this. Hell yes, a warp. Boom. Teleportation. Okay, let's see if I can remember where my home is. Without looking at the sign. Hmm. Hmm. I want to say here. Oh, damn it. It's Froze's house. No, I know this one, isn't it? That's the... Caterpillar masher woman. That's her place. Or her sister's place, I think. It's Rose, right? No, that's my house. Okay. Let's diarize my day. Let's write. Hmm. It seems Wodas is perplexed by the perfect hole in the sand as well. I did find it rather strange. Hmm. Hmm. School tomorrow. Ah. Wait. Uh-oh. I didn't do my homework yet. Gotta talk with Froze. Okay, I'm assuming she's going to be in her house. Which is conveniently right next to mine. Wait. That's not her house. That was D'Lo and Chellen's house. Was it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Yoo-hoo, froze. Please, let me copy your homework. Oh, you cheat, Yosefire. No. Please, 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 please and carrots. No. Okay, fine. I won't copy. Just show me how to do it. Eh? Eh? Oh, fine. It'd be easiest to have the book to look at, too. To the library, I suppose. All right. Ugh. All right, Librarium. Where's the Librarium? Be marked with a sign, obviously. Nope. Oh, down here. Wait a minute, I don't, I don't actually think I've been down here, have I? No, I haven't. That's the principal. Oh, good morning. Good morning. School. Do not run in the halls. Do not fly. Do not spit fire. Do not pass go. Actually, I didn't say the last part. Library, please read quietly. Books are not food. <laughs> Have they had problems with people eating the books? Let's look around here a little bit before I go inside. Got a fruit. Is that an apple? It looks like an apple. Mm, no, it's actually fruit. A red fruit recovers 30 HP. Oh, wow. I do not need fruits. They restore 30 HP, but I have 77 apples that restore 50. I think I'm good. Ooh, what's down here? Nothing to do this way, probably. Garden. Say something. And then the other person says, well, nothing. Okay, so just the school and the library. Really is some nice weather. This isn't the time to be slacking. If any outsiders are about. Hmm? I'm not slacking. Ah, what a bother. I was enjoying having that peaceful world. 
though you just spend all day locked up in a room. Now that's not true. And we could have just gone to the to talk to the girl with the glasses instead of summoning her. Oh please, I'm God, remember? Why can't I be allowed that? You say something? Of course not. But you're one to talk. Eh? Aren't you making an errand boy of Wotus? Errand? No, I, I don't mean to. You were awful quick to leave things to him earlier. Y yes, well... I'm the devil. Why can't I be? <laughs> ah. <laughs> they get along so well. Library. Uh, so, in simple terms... Come on, this is my fifth time explaining it to you. Sorry. I'm out. What? Sorry, 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 I'll listen for real. Hey, quiet in the library. Hmm? Holy hell, that person looks... disturbed. Yosefire, your injury is all healed now? Oh, I'm... Oh, Mr. Lowry. I'm super fine now. That's good to hear. And I'm glad to see you studying here. <laughs> it's no big deal. I mean, Miss Grief's lessons are really hard. Her name is Miss Grief. Or Grief. I'm gonna go with Grief, though. My apologies. I, I think that's Grife talking off camera somewhere. Or grief, I mean. Yep, there's grief. Damn. Look at what she's wearing and her f fur. I think that's fur. Is is that part of her coat or does she just have like fur? I wouldn't be surprised if, about people having fur at this point. Miss Grief. Yosefire, if you forget your homework next time, you know what'll happen, yes? No, I, I've had enough of weed pulling. Just how many detentions have you gotten? Don't even ask me. Mr. Lowry, he's a kind teacher. Doesn't even get mad when I forget my homework. Miss Grief. He gets super mad when you forget your homework. Scary. Seriously. Okay, it doesn't look like that's fur. I think that's just... Yeah, it's part of her jacket thing. Well then, Yosefire. Good luck with your homework. Yes, sir. Hey, wait. Why are our teachers at the library? Some research, perhaps. Aha! Could it be the ever-trendy library date? Doubtful. Come on, let's finish this before the sun sets. Roger. Hey, but anyway, Froze? What? What have we been learning about? That history stuff? 
Is it true? Hmm? I, uh, kind of slept through a bunch and didn't hear much. But I mean the thing about how long ago angels and demons hated each other's guts. And how Ethub and Kakalb, they were super duper ultimate sworn enemies. Yes, indeed they were. No way! That can't be right. I mean, they're not lying. Do you think our teachers would lie about that for fun? But I mean, me and you are so lovey dovey, yeah? Eh? Uh -uh. And Ethra and old man Kakalb, they're hex of friendly, yeah? Like, everybody gets along, yeah? It's really peaceful, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah? However true that may be now, our past is undeniable. <laughs> I'm just laughing after all the yas. <laughs> what the hell was that? Hmm. <laughs> Yosefire. We... Uh, that is, angels and demons were essentially opposites. Creatures who fundamentally can never understand the other. Our world is a rarity, it seems. Our situation is seldom found. Our world? Uh, what? What do you mean? What we have here is considered highly improbable in other worlds. What? Other worlds. It sounds like a plot point from some book. Perhaps so. But those things really exist? Certainly. Very many of them. What? Never knew that. But why? Why is not getting along considered natural out there? Who can say? Worlds must just be that way. That seems really... Lonely. I mean, Froze. You're a really good kid, right? It, yes. If you say so. And Macarona and Chellin. You're also nice and real good friends to me. So I don't get how I could be so unfriendly with angels like you guys. <laughs> Yosefire. You're still such a child. What did you say? I'm your age, Froze. <laughs> Just called yourself a child. Yes, yes, well, very well. There are many worlds with many things. Perhaps yours is a peaceful garden. But not each and every person can necessarily live in such a world. Our world is no exception. Of course. Hardly any remain from so long ago. So few know anything from then. And I wasn't there either. I don't know exactly what happened in our past. All I've heard is, at the bitter end of that dreadful, desperate world, everything was destroyed, leaving only a barren wasteland who did all that? Mr. Kakalb. Say what? That old man's scarier than I thought. Indeed. Now, we're almost done with the homework here. Huh? Oh yeah, alright, let's do this. Uh. Achoo! Oh, wonder who's gossiping about you. Okay, so I guess I'm done with the homework, I'm assuming. Homework done, okay, cool. Legend of... I don't know how to pronounce that. Books. 
It's a series called Wharf Roaches Tell No Lies. Go to heaven. <laughs> hey, that's a picture of those... things. I don't know what they are. Those strange things I saw in the shop. A step ladder. Oops. Bouncy white flower things. A ton of books written in unfamiliar languages. Finished your homework. That's a rare occasion for you, Yosifier. Thanks. Hey, you finished your homework. Good work. Thank you. See, that's more encouraging, Miss Grief. Rather than giving me grief, why don't you give me Lowry? Lots of paperbacks. Pop-up books are the best. This is hard. Skim reading. Yeah, that's for the best. Their photo collections. Books. Maybe. <laughs> what do you mean, maybe? Pretty sure those are books. They're on sickness and health. Books. The books. They're... What? Wait, what, what are they? Finish your sentence. Oh, I'll never know what they are. Lots of books. Yeah, they actually tried to make separate descriptions for each bookshelf, and I think they started running out of interesting things to say about the books. The Snowman Murderer. Night of Alfalfa. Song of Alfalfa. <laughs> Lots of Alfalfa. So many words, so few illustrations. They're right here. Here there be books. <laughs> it's a series called Books About Yams. This entire bookshelf is filled up with books about yams. That's a long series. Books about memory. Very ordinary books, nothing too special about them. Okay, I think I'm done examining the books. Just my imagination, perhaps. Huh? What are you two doing over here? Ah, Yosefire. Just on a stroll. Huh, well, I was just studying with Froze here. More like you were just listening to me. I... I... I don't know what that sound is supposed to be. I... Hi? <laughs> is that a scream? I guess we're about to find out. Hi. Whoa, what? what what's it, Macarona? <sighs> Rawberry. What is it, the caterpillars again? Ta-da! <sighs> Rawberry, what's that you're holding? Oh, it is another. It's a bug, isn't it? Centipede. <laughs> no. Look at it. No, stay away. Bugs are friends. <laughs> no, they're not. It's okay. Just give her a touch. No. No way, no how. Sorry, but we can't be friends. But Senti says she wants to get along. Well, tell her that we can never, ever, ever... That we never, ever, ever can. Please stop running around us. Hey, Froze. How does centipedes taste? Don't eat it. And so Yosefire and her friends passed some very peaceful days. So it would be tomorrow, the next day, the day after that, and so on. So they thought.
What do you think? Worthless. Then, shall we? Of course. Roger that. Hmm. Morning? Hmm? Yosef, time for school. Oh, that time already. Let's save the game here. Okay, well, you know what? I think it's a pretty good place to end the episode. Something big is about to happen, apparently. But I'm going to wait to find out what that is. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.